Well, once again, we are talking about the justice system failing the people of this country. And once again, this is up in Rotherham. YouTube obviously does not like me talking about it, so with these videos, it is important you guys share it around the internet as much as possible, because YouTube certainly won't do it. Actually, they don't do it at all with my videos anymore, because I guess I call out stuff they would rather I was silent on. But that won't stop me calling it out, and is why I've now joined Rumble to back up all of my videos and get them out unrestricted. So, if you have not joined me over there, it will be linked down below, along with all my other social media channels. I suggest you follow it before my time on YouTube is up. As with anyone, it could be literally any day now, let's be honest. But on to the point of this video, you all know that I have covered the grooming gangs many times on the channel and will continue to do so every time we have more reports, which is what we have today. This time it's showing the utter failure of the court system up in Rotherham, giving people piss poor sentences for doing some of the most heinous crimes on extremely young children. Breitbart picked up on it here saying Rotherham groomer Kamir Khan gets short sentence for abusing 11 year old girl. Everyone is very lucky that I don't write these articles because it would say dirty fuck pig gets short sentence for abusing an 11 year old girl when he should have been deported instantly. South Asian heritage predator, no he's not South Asian, pick out where he is actually from for fuck's sake. Could be from anywhere, I don't fucking know, but either way, he is not South Asian, that's just taking the piss. Khan31 is the latest in a long line of abusers to be convicted for abusing girls and young women in Rotherham, where South Asian heritage gangs, mostly Pakistani is what they mean, once preyed upon mostly white working class victims, in untold numbers with near impunity for years, due to the authorities' reluctance to intervene in case they were accused of racism. Khan was convicted of two counts of assaulting a girl under 13 by touching, inciting a girl to engage in sexual activity and engaging in sexual communication with a child at Sheffield Crown Court, according to an official South Yorkshire Police News Bulletin. The court heard that the paedophile had bombarded the girl with over 4,000 messages over a three-month period over Snapchat and WhatsApp, including lewd photos under the alias Zion, and at one point even told her he loved her and wanted to marry her. Well, considering where he's from, that's probably likely alright, he could well have actually meant it. We'll never know, the dirty fuck pig is a scumbag, that is something that we do know for sure, and really, all that fucking matters. Khan inappropriately touched the 11-year-old on two occasions in 2019, with the abuse only coming to light when the girl's mother went through her phone. She then became visibly distressed and revealed what had been happening to her. The sentencing judge saw fit to impose only a light sentence on Khan, however, handing him a term of just four and a half years, making this judge just as bad as him, if you ask me. If you let people get away with this shit, then at the end of the day, you're as bad as they are, in my opinion. Criminals in Britain do not typically serve their full sentences either, with non-life sentences typically including a right to automatic release on licence at the halfway, or more rarely, two-thirds point in the term. It goes on, Khan preyed on his victim over a period of months, taking full advantage of her age and her vulnerability. He manipulated her into thinking he was her boyfriend, and it was normal for him to send such explicit messages, commented Rachel Scott, investigating officer for South Yorkshire Police. This girl has been incredibly strong throughout this inquiry and I couldn't be prouder of how much she has assisted our investigation, Scott said. This was a difficult case, however I am pleased that we were able to establish such evidence that Khan had no option but to plead guilty to these offences. I believe he is a danger to children and I am pleased that he is now behind bars. Yes, but he will still be a fucking danger to children in four years, or should we say two, when you let him out. So this judge is essentially just saying in two years time it's okay to put more kids at risk. This is why he is a dirty snivelling shit weasel like the dirty fuck pig who is running around touching 11 year old fucking girls. What the fuck is going on with this country? Why has this cunt not just been deported? Fuck a prison sentence, just boot him out. Now I have got to say, it really pisses me off that the justice system, police and all that go so heavy handed on protests in London, but these sort of scumbags will just get four and a half years for touching an 11 year old girl. Like you would think the police would be spending their time and all that money on making sure this doesn't happen to the children of the UK, instead of running around London trying to beat up the working class who don't like the restrictions that have been placed on our lives. This just goes to show how broken this country is and the government and every government before it has completely fucked it up. It actually really pisses me off. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. 
and it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>